I don't blame you if you cringe at the word metaverse now. I mean, so many crap projects have come up and they have pretty much ruined the name. But still, if you're someone who wants to try it out yourself, these are the actual metaverse universes that you can explore. First up is of course Roblox. Now, if you are a younger person, then Roblox is a pretty prominent one that you may already know of. It works on a plethora of platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS. If you have a device that can access the internet, chances are you can access Roblox. You know that Roblox Studios allows users to create games of their own, so you can actually explore other people's worlds in that. You can also buy and sell items within this platform itself. There are some rare items that people pay top dollar for. I don't quite understand the the relevance of such things, maybe because I'm a little older. But then again, people buy NFTs for crazy prices. I guess it's all a perception of value. So yeah, Roblox is a legit metaverse world. You can check it out. Next up is Sandbox. It kind of rose to prominence in the recent months after the meta rebranding of Facebook. Sandbox has their own token called Sand, so you will use that primarily in there. So you can do pretty much the same thing. Like you can host events, you can hold parties. In fact, uh, someone paid a lot of money to be a Snoop Dogg's neighbor in the Sandbox. It doesn't really make sense for me to buy virtual land in that place, but I guess Amazon and other the companies may set up shop there soon in fact atari has taken a huge stake in sandbox as you may know so yeah maybe maybe there is a future that i'm missing here the third one i observed was decentraland decentraland is built on ethereum blockchain and it uses mana i think you know that token it's pretty much the same concept you buy a piece of land and you use it to turn it into whatever you like you can build any project you want and showcase it to the other users you don't necessarily need a crypto wallet for these things but if you want to be a creator and store your assets like you know your nfts then yeah you need one i know nfts have been largely going downhill for now because people are seeing that it's a bubble and it will not last decentraland was apparently doing really well at the nft peak at the you know the gold rush of nft i think they were selling plots at like 100000 dollars which is crazy but hey that's the world we live in i mean we destroyed everything we see in real life and now we're going to start something virtually so we can destroy that Bruh. too but thankfully we can just probably hit an escape button and revert the pollution we do there anyways. The world might as well end up like Ready Player One at some point, who knows. I mean, what do you think of Metaverse? Like, I'm never gonna be one of those who probably willingly will get stuck to a VR headset unless I'm already in a simulation that I don't know about. It just seems so unnatural to kind of put a VR headset on and just participate in a virtual world where everything is virtual but I trick myself into thinking it's real. It's it's just bizarre to me. The real world still has so much potential. Why would you want to hide away in a virtual world and live a second life? That's another game, by the way, right? Second life. That's kind of the same concept as the metaverse. But given my experience with some games, they are pretty addictive. So if you could have some sort of a life as an open world character in those games, I guess that would be interesting. As long as you remember to unplug once in a while, I guess it's fine. But please don't buy hundred thousand dollar plots of land, please. Or maybe you want to be a virtual real estate mogul. In that case, I leave it to you and your business sense. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think.